Hi friends and subscribers, this is Nehemu Sheikh and from past few videos, I am working on developing a classified website using Laravel 5.8 framework. And in this video, I will discuss about loading different views whenever I click on these categories, main categories. Okay, So I will, I will load a different view when I click on cars and bikes and another view when I click on mobiles and tablets and and uh, other views when I click on each of these categories okay uh, so for for that first I need to set a route okay so when I click on any of this link I want this URL to get changed to something like this okay so now when I click on this cars and bikes I want this URL to be changed like view at slash I want to display the name of the category along with the ID of this category okay so now when I click on this mobiles and tablets you can see here the URL gets changed uh, now the URL is showing mobiles and tablets which is the name of the category and the ID of that category okay so now I need to set set up my URL in this way okay so for doing that I need to go to my route.php Sorry, I'm a, I need to go to my web.php file. Okay, and then I need to copy this, paste it out here. Okay, and then display various views and category click okay so now i want to change this okay slash view ads okay so now you can see here in this example i want to display uh, i want to display the I want to display the section as view ads or a segment as view ad in the url along with the name of the category and the ID of each and every category okay so I need to design the URL in this way so for doing that I have mentioned view ads segment and then this is the name of my function okay which I'm going to create inside my users controller and then I need to pass another parameter which accepts name of main category main category okay and then the last one is ID okay and then here the name of the function will be view ads okay so now here you can see i have i have passed three parameters one is view ads which is the name of the function and then the second parameter is the name of the category main category and the third parameter is the id okay so now here you can see i have three parameters these three parameters i have to pass in my url and now okay so i have set the route and now i need to go to my users controller and i need to create a public function view ads okay request okay and then i need to accept the main category and then ID okay so now uh, this main category and ID I'm getting from the URL okay now let me just print it out first echo main category go br okay and then ID okay so now I will display the main category and the ID uh, of uh, here whatever whichever whichever main category i will click i will display the name of that category and the id of that category okay so now let me just save it here okay and i will go to add post okay and now when i click on this cars and bikes now you can see it's displaying me the name of that category and its id okay so that's information i'm getting from the url okay so because i am sending a get request okay now when i click on mobiles and tablets you will see the category main category name gets changed and it's returning me the id as three okay so now this main category and id field i will take to i will i will use this id field 
information inside my view ads function to load appropriate views okay so now before that first let me create all the various views okay so for creating views i will go to resources folder and inside users folder i will create one folder as publish ads folder okay and then one more folder for us categories folder okay and inside publish ads folder i will create a few files okay and i will save it as cars bikes ads dot blade dot php cars bikes ads dot blade dot php okay so now uh, for this file what i will do is i will use the code whatever i have written for my user dot blade dot php i will just select it copy and i will put it this entire code inside the cars bikes ads dot blade dot php okay and here okay not this one let me just open this post ad okay so i will not use this user dot blade dot php file data i will just copy this uh, entire HTML and PHP code. Okay, so I, I had I have created these files in my last video. Okay, and now I'll just copy and I will put this code, entire code, in my cars, bikes, ads. Blade. PHP. Okay, because the code is somewhat is uh, almost similar. Okay, now I will remove this h1 tag. Okay, and here I will change it to cars. And bikes okay and now I will create one more view which is mobiles and tablets to display the mobile tablets form okay now I will create I will go to publish uh, publish ads and then I will click on new file and I will paste the information and then I will change to mobiles and tablets save it as mobiles tablets ads dot blade dot php okay and now i will create one more view for electronic and appliances new file and i will paste it here electronic and appliances and I will save as electro mix appliances at dot blade dot php okay and one more file for real estate real estate save it real state ads dot blade dot php okay and the last one is services save okay this, mm. services save it services ads dot blade dot php okay let me just remove all this remove this h1 tag from each and every file save it okay so now i have created all the views which i want to load whenever i click on each of this category okay so now what I need to do is I need to load these various views in my users controller so for loading each and every view I want to view I want to load each and every view based on the ID okay okay so now for loading various views I'm loading these views based on the main category ID okay and in my table you can see the main category ID is 
has uh, started from one to six okay and uh, here in my users controller with this code you can see it's returning the id information of each and every main category you know let me just refresh it okay so when i click on this mobiles and tablets it has the id s3 okay and this cars and bikes is having the id of two okay so now i'm you i will use these ids to load various templates okay so now let's come here I will use an if condition if id is equals to equals to two else if id is equals to three copy if id is equals to four five and six okay and if id equals to two then i will return view users dot publish ads dot cars bikes ads okay now now you can see my cars bikes ads view is present inside users and publish ads folder okay that's why i need to refer these folders inside which this view is present okay and now i will just copy this i will put it here okay and now the second one is electro appliances ads okay now third one is okay third one is electronics and appliances second one is mobiles tablets ads okay and the uh, fourth one is real estate ads services ads okay now let me just refresh okay now when i click on cars and bikes let us see what will happen okay so now you can see it's displaying cars and bikes okay but it's not loading the uh, main categories because i have not passed the data of main categories okay so now what i, I should what i should do is i have to copy the same piece of code and i have to paste it here okay and then i need to pass these categories as well inside each and every view okay let me just copy this paste here okay save it okay so now let me just refresh it again okay now you will see these categories and icons are displaying okay so now when i click on this mobiles and tablets you'll see it's displaying mobiles and tablets view and the url also gets changed here and when i click on electronic and appliances url also gets changed and the text is also gets changed that means i'm loading uh, different views okay and when i click on real estate it's loading a real estate view okay and when i click on service here it's loading the services views okay so now this is how we can load various uh, views uh, based on the main category okay and now in each and every view i want to design a form because i want I want uh, my users to publish ads okay so for publishing ads in various categories i want them to provide me various types of details like the details of cars okay car uh, car name okay and the various subcategories and their price and their own owner name okay and their email id okay and their contact number all those things i want 
my users to enter in the forms okay so i need to create those forms in each and every category okay so that i will do in my next video okay so uh, so that's all for this video guys uh, in this video we saw how we can load various views based on the main category id okay so uh, uh, that's all for this video i hope you this video i hope you got some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching